Nationally ranked Roadrunners are currently in the midst of an important bye week, preparing for the final stretch of the regular season. And while reports indicate that Texas Tech has reached out to head coach Jeff Trailer and his staff to fill their recent coaching vacancy, UTSA needs to stay focused on their next opponent, UTEP. The Miners have already secured the program's best record since 2014 and have rattled off four straight wins against Louisiana Tech, Southern Miss, and Old Dominion. The good news. UTEP plays this weekend against Florida Atlantic, and that gives the resting Roadrunners a chance to see their next opponent in action. It'll be a good, 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 good little week to scout them and get ahead. So, uh, you know, we definitely got to make the most out of it. They're, they're, from what we've seen so far, they're a great team. Of course, you know, their record shows that they played against some good teams as well. So um, this week is definitely beneficial for us going into next week. And, you know, like I said, we got to make the most out of it. Fundamentals, we have to get cleaned up. We got to get fresh. That's for sure. And we got to get to playing fast again. We look tired. So uh, those three F's have been our focal point this week. Number 23 UTSA will face the Miners next Saturday, November 6th at 9.15 p.m. San Antonio time. Our KSAT 12 Texas Sports Productions Game of the Week is a good one featuring number one Brennan against Holmes. The Bears have shown why they're ranked as the top team in KSAT 12's top 12 with an 8-0 record. Brennan's offense has scored 42 or more points in six straight games, all against district opponents. Meanwhile, the Huskies are looking to build off of last week's 38-21 victory over Warren and stay in the hunt for the playoffs. They're currently on the outside looking in, fifth in District 29-6A. They're a tough competitor. I mean, it's not it's not going to be an easy game. It's going to be a pretty tough game, but I think we can handle them. We know what, what we can play. Like, as a team, we come together and play, like, we'll be able to beat them. But, like, we just had to, like, we just have to be, uh, be able to play together. They have a very fast defense, and they're very explosive. They know how to get off the ball real quick, and very good offense. Uh, we don't take no team lightly. We practice hard every week. Uh, Got to go dominate. Kickoff tonight is at the Gus at 7. You can watch it live on the BGC app on our streaming page on KSAT.com or on KSAT 12.2 Digital. Congratulations to the Burbank volleyball team. The Bulldogs celebrated their District 27-5A title on Tuesday night at the Alamo Convocation Center after sweeping Lanier. Burbank finished with a perfect 16-0 record in district play, securing the program's first district title in 16 years. The Bulldogs have been close to a district title over the past couple years. What made the difference this season? that chemistry that chemistry is everything to us um, we really because we, of COVID last year we weren't able to be together and practice together but this year everything clicked everything came together in like a few practices so it was awesome getting that off-season experience just uh, it really paid off and we're just looking to go further the playoffs this year all right, the playoffs begin next week for local volleyball teams. Burbank will take on Floresville on Tuesday night at Paul Taylor Fieldhouse. We've got a lot of teams in action next week. We've got Brandeis, Reagan, Clark all starting their playoff runs. And again, it's all going to culminate in a couple weeks at the Curtis Colwell Center. We'll see who qualifies. All right, so. and congrats to Burbank. Yeah, it was a great story this season. Nice job. Thank you, Andrew. Yeah. And let's go ahead and check in with SA Live. We have Mike and Fiona. We have spooky stuff today. Of yes. course. Are you ready for some bone chilling tales? <laughs> yes, you know him from the radio, Russell Rush from the new 961 Now Radio, but you are a ghost hunter, right? I am for now 14 years, believe it or not. Okay, and you said San Antonio is pretty darn haunted. The fifth most haunted city in the nation. There's a, there's a lot going on here. And a show you can watch tonight, and you're focusing on what building? The Bonham Exchange. Super haunted, y'all. I had no the box was Very haunted. haunted. It said yeah. people won't go in the basement. Even the, even the even the there. okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> There's more. <laughs> Speaking of spirits, the yes. Ambler Texas Kitchen. There's our segue. Texas Kitchen and Cocktails at Hotel Contessa. We are making some of their delectable dishes and these great, great cocktails. Perfect for watching maybe the day of the Red Parade tomorrow night. Plus, we're going to tell you how you can experience the Spurs game tonight with other big fans at a local San Antonio Spurs watch party. Which then raises the question, mm -hmm. who is your favorite Spurs player or was Golly, your favorite yeah. Spurs player? Are you player? able to pick? Let us know at SA Live KSAT on Facebook and Twitter. And, of course, Halloween is coming up Sunday. Want some great tips? Oh, that's really cool looking. Some really good Halloween makeup tips. <laughs> what are you going as this year? A witch. Okay. <laughs> All I need is a hat. <laughs> she said it, not me. That and a whole lot more coming up on SA Live. Stick around. And Jaguars above your head. This is what people will be seeing tomorrow at the San Antonio Zoo. A new attraction has been added to SA Zoo's The Pantera Walk. 
The skywalk will allow the zoo's jaguars to roam above the exhibit and visitors below. The area includes enhancements that stretch from the current outpost to Amazonia through this new jaguar exhibit. The Pantera Walk will be the first of its kind here in the U.S. All right, let's look at the forecast. We'll be up around 78 degrees today. Uh, still some gusts at 35 miles per hour. It'll still be a little breezy tomorrow, but not as windy. 75 on your Friday. Great weekend. Halloween looks great. Got some mornings in the 40s coming up. Next week, though, moisture uh, does return, and we'll get some rain chances back in the picture by Wednesday. And that's all here on KSAT. On behalf of everyone, thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. SA Live starts right now. And today on SA Live, new Day of the Dead themed cocktails from a local restaurant. Plus, where you can experience the Spurs game tonight with other big fans at a local watch party. And it's the episode of the Russell Rush Haunted Tour, and we have the man, the myth, the legend himself with bone-chilling details. I was talking to him. Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from historic Market Square. This is SA Live. Look at that. That is just mouthwater. Yes, Keep coming. Bring it Keep in. Coming. Bring it in. Bring it in. There it John, is. Coming in for a landing. Yes. Coming in for a landing. Ooh, mouthwatering good show today is on its way. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Mike Osterhage. And I'm Fiona Gorostiza. All right. Well, we've got a busy few days ahead of us with, of course, Halloween and the Day of the Day Dead, Dead Parade, yep. which is a tomorrow evening, but before we get all, to all that, if you are looking for a new reason to head down to the Riverwalk and want something new and delicious to try while you're there, then look no further than Ambler Texas Kitchen and Cocktails located inside the Hotel Contessa. And here to cook up a seasonal menu is Chef John Zayner. And uh, first of all, good afternoon, sir. And yes. oh my goodness, I know you eat with your eyes a lot of times and that just looks absolutely wonderful. What are we making? Mm -hmm. Great, thank you. Thanks for having us. Uh, Ambler's happy to be here. Well, we got a couple things things that are going to be coming on our fall menu that we're going to be starting in a week and we have a, a, a classic uh, our strawberry margarita tart but we're going to talk a few things about simple components that are easy to do like for the holiday season right coming up making jams and jellies right jams and jellies are very simple to make we have a little bit of strawberry a little bit of sugar a little bit of diced serrano a little bit of lemon juice you cook it for uh, half hour 20 minutes thicken it with a little bit of ap apple pectin you can put them in little mason jars just like grandma used to do just right? like grandma used to okay. do and you're putting that jam on we're going to put it on dish. our little cider brine pork belly right we take the pork belly and she's going to dredge it in a little bit of potato flour and put a little bit of oil in the pan what's the potato flour get, do for it the potato flour helps get it crispy mm -hmm. and uh, instead of the all-purpose flour, it, it, it retains the moisture and it, and it keeps it from getting gooey. So you oh. can use potato flour, you can use cornstarch, you can use arrowroot, all mm -hmm. work pretty good. Mm -hmm. But you just want to stay away from uh, all-purpose flour when you're doing a lot of sautéing. Mm -hmm. It gets really gummy. And, uh, and then also the potato flour is also gluten-free, if now, you're a gluten-free guy, right? Bonus. Yeah, bonus. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go off on a little bit of a tangent here, though. Could you make then a gravy out of that same flour? Would that work for it or not? Yeah, you could make okay. a gravy out of the flour. It's, oh, very, okay. it's very much like a cornstarch, you know what I mean? It's okay. A, yeah, so you can make a gravy out of that. And then we got down here, we have our strawberry margarita tart, right? At Ambler, we try to pair some of our different desserts with our cocktails, right? So there, you got a little mascarpone, mm -hmm. you have some uh, whipping cream. You have some sugar. And the you secret ingredient. High, high quality tequila, right? You don't want to get the rock gut stuff. You got to get the good stuff. <laughs> pour that in there. Just a pour in or drink? Uh, as yeah, you're well, it looks like you drank some already. Okay. Yeah. I did. I swear to goodness, I did not. That shot glass was full. All right, I and did. then you're going to kind of keep whisking. You're going to kind of keep whisking. And, uh, and it's finished with a little bit of lime zest. Okay. We have the finished product uh, in a little pastry bag. Yeah. We take the little tart shells and we brush them with a little bit of chocolate. That oh, helps the tart shells from getting uh, soggy mm -hmm. and you can make them ahead. Okay. And then we just finish them with the thing. And yeah. just pipe this in pipe, here? Pipe them in. Yeah, you usually use two hands when you use a pastry bag. You use one to hold it and one to turn it. Because it won't if you're squeeze out the back like, or it, right like it just did. So. <laughs> right, there okay. you go. Now you're an expert, right? Are you going to do that? Beautiful. And the strawberries, we make a little bit of fresh strawberries with a little bit of the, we put a little bit of strawberry sauce on top and uh, a little bit of the lime zest. And we have strawberry cocoa pearls that are right in front of the lime. 
What are those? Those are just basically it's white chocolate mm -hmm. infused with strawberries. And we make like little, or we won't make them, we get them. It's yeah. just like a little cocoa pearl, a little cocoa nub pearl. Oh, really? There, that pork belly looks mm -hmm. really good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's going to be served Very with like short. the pork chili. Uh -huh. And here we have a little bit of Jamaica honey. Oh, wow, the, this is the, great. The honey is infused with, uh, with the Jamaica flour that we soak overnight. And then we put it on a double boiler and we drizzle that right on top of the pork belly and we'll crack a little cracked pepper. Uh, right before it goes out with the service. And I serve with a little bit of pickled chilies. We take uh, Fresnos and we take Wahili chilies and we cook them in a little bit of cider vinegar and a little bit of sugar and salt. And we use that for a lot of our different things, our queso uh, fresco or queso fundido. Mm -hmm. And uh, what are some of the other things on the uh, the fall yeah. menu? You said you're kind of adding. Yeah, every we're, few we're adding. Weeks. We we have this. We have. We're going to be doing. Like I said, we try at Ambler. We try to. Uh, um, infuse our cocktails and some of the different cocktail components into our desserts. We're gonna have a warm chocolate cake. We're gonna have a warm chocolate cake with uh, a balcones, which is mm -hmm. a local whiskey sauce. So Ooh. that's gonna be something that we're gonna be doing. Uh, we got this crisp pork belly. Oh, that uh, smells so good. Like, yeah, <laughs> and uh, we're gonna be doing some poached golf shrimp with the Tito's uh, vodka cocktail sauce. Mm -hmm. So that'll be a new item. There's that little bit of strawberry jam. It's a little bit amber color because we take and we caramelize the sugar a little bit before we put in the fruits, mm -hmm. and that gives it a nice little nutty flavor. Okay. And there's and, your little. And you use strawberries because I always think of the fall and fruit going with a meat like that, like cranberries with turkey. Yeah, I mean, pear would go really good with that. We were mm -hmm. going to make like a little pear chutney or a little pear jam, and maybe after the first of the year we'll do that. Uh, it seems like we had the strawberry and jalapeno jelly on a couple things over the summer menu and people really enjoyed it. So we figured okay. we'd just kind of keep it, keep it going for a little bit. And at the end of the year, you have all these fruits that need to get used up for something. Right. So, you know what I mean? Quickly, all right. speaking yeah. of uh, Turkey Day though, Thanksgiving. reservations already for Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving, right? yeah, we have a prefix menu uh, at Ambler. Uh, we're going to be uh, doing seatings uh, in the early afternoon into the evening. We have a few nice salads. We have a, a somewhat traditional turkey dish. We have a short rib, we have a chorizo crusted snapper, and uh, we're gonna have a warm cobbler, and, uh, I'll just take this for and a pina colada cheesecake for, oh for that menu there. Mm. So recommend, uh, reservations are highly recommended. We'll be get, getting that up on the website here within the next few days. Uh, but yeah, come on down to Ambler. Mm. I mean, we have these wonderful cocktails. We have a wonderful food program. We just opened the Delicious. restaurant, lost the restaurant in June, mm -hmm. and uh, okay. it's been going very well, so we can't thank you all for having so us here. Speaking of cocktails, we're going to hear more about mm -hmm. that and how you may enjoy a cocktail tomorrow night for Day of the Dead Parade. All right, for more information on Ambler Texas Kitchen and Cocktails, head to salive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab where we've provided a link. Okay. So much going on. Yes. Mm hmm The spur season has started. <laughs> Got to raise the question, who's your favorite spur, or what's your favorite spur? That's tough. I don't know. You know, a lot of people, <laughs> David Robinson comes to mind. I'm going to say George Gervin. He's the, the, he's the guy from Michigan. Yes. You know? East, uh, Eastern Michigan, Huron. So. It's hard for me to pick. Yeah. It really is. So let us know. Who's your favorite Spur player of all time? Tag us at SA Live KSAT on Facebook and Twitter, and we'll see those answers a little later in the show. Well, if you can't see the Spurs game in person, then make it a fun evening with good company. There's a Spurs watch party happening tonight at Little Woodrow Stone Oak with great merch and surprises for the Spurs Nation. And I tell you, one of the biggest Spurs fans in town <laughs> is Argenta Piastrowski, and she is out there right now at Little Woodrow Stone Oak. And uh, are you a little early or are you just getting a good seat, Jen? <laughs> Well, like you said, I'm a huge Spurs fan, so yeah, it's okay to get here this early. There's lots of prizes to be had, and we start with this awesome shirt. Por vida, I have Veronica Oviedo, the Senior Manager of Marketing with the Spurs, joining me to tell me more about this new campaign. Hello, gorgeous day, Hello. right? Oh, yes, gorgeous day. So everyone says, go Spurs, go. We know that, we chant it, it's our motto, but it's more than just in arena when we're shouting, go Spurs, go. It's a lifestyle. We are Spurs fans for life, which is where Por Vida came. It's the culture, it's celebrating our city and our team. And earlier, you and I both chatted about the 1999 championship and the yes. memories we have. And for me, it brought me closer with my dad and my brother. And you said you would go to your grandma's house mm -hmm. and, and watch the games. Watch the games with my family every single game over hot dogs and pizza. And it was a lifestyle. It made me a Spurs fan for life. Oh, I love it. And now you get to work for them. And now I get to work for I them. I love Great that. Job. What an awesome job. And you have some merchandise here. So pe people come out tonight and they can get some of these awesome 
prizes here, but they can't just walk over to the table and grab them. There's there's games yeah. involved, right? Yes. That's why you're holding those basketballs. Yes, yeah, so you have to play the games to win a prize. You can shoot to make a bucket. Every bucket's a different prize. You want to give it a try? You know I Let's see your shooting skills. Okay, here we go. Oh, okay. That's a t-shirt. T-shirt. <laughs> okay. Another t-shirt. Oh, another t-shirt. <laughs> Let me try to hit. Get the fiesta that. towel. Oh, 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 one more time. Fiesta towel. Oh, oh my gosh. So close, but you're going home with two t-shirts today. Okay, two t-shirts. Again, lots of prizes. Should we try one more? Let's yes. just try one more. Yes. All right. I don't know which is which, but. Okay, what's that? That's your fiesta towel. Okay, <laughs> that's what we wanted. Awesome, so games, this is just one of many games. Um, and we're in hole, and this game will have merchandise too. Yes, so. yes, and we move over this way because uh, there's also drink specials. Tell me about the specials for people tonight. Yeah, so uh, if you are coming, you can score $3 draft pints. And if you want to come with your friends and family and you have a group come in, you can get a bucket for 15. So pretty good deal in my mind, but also first. Yes, the first 48 people that show up tonight will get to go home with this awesome glass. Isn't that beautiful? I mean, will they notice these are missing? I don't know. <laughs> I won't take them. Okay, but the first 48 people, and there's also going to be a nice party tray with all the fried goodness, fried pickles, mozzarella sticks, wings, all of that. They're they're cooking that right now, or or it went missing somehow. <laughs> but uh, all of that tonight here again, Little Woodrow's located in between Stone Oak Parkway and 281. Um, and also, I wanted to let our viewers know how often you guys have these watch parties. Tell me about yes. the watch parties. How often? Yeah. Yeah, so about once a month and not even only in San Antonio, we have San Antonio and Austin going on to capture all of our fans off I-35. Uh, we will have we'll have watch parties that are Texas showdowns or other opponents. Just follow us on social media or join our official fan club and you'll get all the information on the watch parties, merchandise offers, theme nights and game nights. And again, the Texas showdown tonight. They play the Dallas Mavericks. And so, of course, we're going to win, right? Yes. But I love the yes. story that you shared with me that your dad would wake y'all up when, the, yes. when they would win the championships and you'd get to go out and see them. So, Come obviously, two airport. Spurs fans here. We'll throw it back to you guys. And I think I need to go find some fried food now. But again, <laughs> arrive early here tonight. 7.30, 7.30, guys. Go Spurs, go. When you talk about Spurs, yeah. she gets serious. I know. I know Jen does. <laughs> oh, thank you, Jen. All right. Still ahead, we have last-minute Halloween looks for you from a professional makeup artist that will have you looking spooky in no time. And next, radio host on 96.1, Russell Rush, joins us to talk about his final episode of the Russell Rush Haunted Tour. <laughs> Welcome back to SA Live. Well, the man, the myth, the radio legend, Russell Rush from the new 96.1 Now Radio is here. And we're not talking radio, we're talking about Haunted San Antonio. The Emmy award-winning Russell Rush Haunted Tour, the show that's all about the ghosts of San Antonio, has investigated the most haunted places in and around South Texas for 13 years. Do you sleep at night? <laughs> this time of year, not at all, actually, no. I uh, got about four hours in, because the final episode comes out tonight at six o'clock. And you said San Antonio is the fifth most haunted city in the country. It's true. I mean, you think about it, the downtown area is built upon ruins, upon ruins, upon tragedy, a lot of things around the Alamo. And, and one of those places is the Bonham Exchange. Which is built on what was the, the Alamo, right? around right? The, the battleground area. Yeah. Okay. You said down in the basement that workers have to like draw straws to see who goes down there, right? Right, yeah, I mean, it's a fun place, right? We've all been, yeah. uh, but workers will play like rock, paper, scissors to see who has to go to the basement to fix things because nobody wants to be down there. And while I was investigating, I found out why. We picked up the EVP of somebody yelling at me. Okay, we have got that. So listen, it's gonna play a couple of times. Whoa, okay, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right, I just got the shivers listening. When you were down there and you heard that, did you like run <laughs> the other direction? What? You know what's funny? I freeze in those moments. 
Like, you would literally have to carry me out, like, because I, I just don't know what to do. But he was, I mean, he's yelling at me. He's obviously, doesn't sound friendly, sounds angry. And I still can't make out what he was saying. It might be in German, because the place opened in 1891 is a, a German men's athletic club. Maybe, maybe they just want to be left alone. I don't know. But then you said there's a more playful ghost in one of the, the very first kind of bars when you walk in, right? Yes, they, they've named him Travis. I love that they have names for these now. <laughs> but uh, Travis is kind of a playful guy. He has been known to um, touch and pinch women. Uh, and we think that we may have captured him. Our investigator, Jell, was in the Alamo bar. And she's sitting there doing an EVP session, and something pulls her back curl. Oh. You'll see it right here. Watch her hair. Right, right there. Right below her right ear, yeah. Yeah. She wheels around, and we couldn't believe we caught it on video. It's incredible. How did you get into doing this? I started this uh, now 14 years ago as kind of a joke, right? I was going to make fun of these paranormal investigators as all these shows were coming out. And then I realized, this is real? And so I got my own equipment, started going out, a production team started following us. Here we are two Emmys later and now ending after 14 years. Wow, why did you decide to call it, wait, no more haunted places around town? Oh no, there's plenty, or trust me. Uh, no, just, you know, I've been very public about my personal health battles mm -hmm. and the team has been through the ringer with COVID, just like everybody else. Okay. And so you've gotta be in the right state of mind when you go into these dangerous situations and a guy's yelling at you in the basement for God knows what. And so we've made the decision to put the show on indefinite hiatus until we're in a better space to go in there and do this safely. Okay, but if you want to watch tonight is the premiere and it's on YouTube, right? That's right, 6 p.m. to search the Russell Rush Haunted Tour on YouTube. Wow, and it's also on the, the KSAT TV app and you said you won two Emmys for it. That's right, yeah. For... Editing and uh, historical documentary. What's the scariest situation you've ever been in? Uh, we had somebody get scratched in room 636 at the Gunter Hotel, where the most gruesome murder in San Antonio history took place. Uh, do you know this story? I, I think I, I have heard it before. We will get to that later, because I'm not too scared <laughs> for that one. So, uh, If you'd like more information on the Russell Rush Haunted Tour, head over to SALive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. And again, the last episode is tonight, and you can watch it on the uh, KSAT app. Oh my goodness. Russell, thank you, I think. <laughs> you're, you're welcome. <laughs> Sleep well tonight, sir. <laughs> All right, still ahead, Ambler Texas Kitchen Cocktails is going to be joining us again for a Thirsty Thursday featuring some of their latest drinks. And Workforce Solutions Alamo is finding employment for Texas veterans right here at SA. We share the details next. Hey, and don't forget, you can watch the Day of the Dead San Antonio River Parade presented by Toyota tomorrow at 8, right here on KSAT 12. You'll even see our very own Jen Tobias Trusky. Don't miss it. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, hiring Red, White, and You is back connecting veterans and their spouses with employers who are seeking their exceptional skills. And it's happening November 4th at Freeman Coliseum. And here to tell us more is Workforce Solutions Alamo CEO, Adrian Lopez. Hello, hello, welcome, welcome. Hi, thank you. Of course, so glad that you're here. Tell folks why this job fair is so important in Military City USA right now. Sure, so here in Texas, we have about a million and a half veterans uh, that live in Texas. So of course, this is a partnership with Texas Workforce Commission, the Texas Texans Veteran Commission and others, right? Each year, locally here in San Antonio, we see about 2,000 transitioning veterans that are coming out of JBSA, right? So of course, this is our opportunity to give back to all those folks who have given uh, to this country. And of course, such an impact here in Military City USA. What other resources will be available during this hiring event? Yeah, so unfortunately, you know, veterans were not immune to what happened in the pandemic. So about, we estimate about 16, 17,000 uh, veterans locally actually lost their jobs, right? So we want to make sure that they, any kind of barriers that they have to employment, such as housing, utility assistance, and those types of things. So we're going to have not, a, uh, not only 150 employers, but we're also going to have locally based organizations that focus on veteran services to be able to provide some assistance to those folks attending. Okay, and a lot of businesses and employers are involved in this. Uh, who are some of the big names attending, you know, hiring Red, White, and you? 
Yeah, so as I mentioned, we have about 150 employers, thousands of jobs that are actually available. Today, there are about 47,000 jobs in the region that are available. So we have everything from manufacturing to hospitality to uh, banking to you know all sorts of different uh, types of sectors. Uh, but if I wanted to highlight one of the employers, uh, if people want to go and work for the Spurs, um, they'll be actually on site uh, at that day. Okay, and anything else folks need to know before they go? Yeah, if they can attend uh, this event on the 4th, um, we would encourage them to continue to follow us uh, on our website and our platforms. Uh, we have events all the time uh, or visit uh, one of our 16 career centers. Can you talk a little more just about the impact that this does have with veterans here? Yeah, over the course of the last 10 years, about 100,000 uh, job seekers have actually attended uh, this event. About 40,000 of them were veterans, um, and we brought to Together about 20,000 employers, right? So, a real opportunity for people to actually, you know, go to one place uh, for free to get access to thousands of jobs. And that's what makes it so simple. So it is that kind of one-stop shopping yep. and all available for free. All right. Well, Workforce Solutions Alamo CEO Adrian Lopez, thank you so much for your time. Join Workforce Solutions Alamo for their 10th annual Hiring Red, White, and You event November 4th at Freeman Coliseum. It's happening in person. Veterans Priority Service is from 9 to 10 a.m. Then it opens to the general public from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. For more information, just call 210-224-4357. That's 210-224-4357. Or visit WorkforceSolutionsAlamo.org slash HRWY. Once again, thank you so much. Still ahead on the show, last minute Halloween looks from a professional makeup artist that will have you looking creepy on an affordable budget. And we are sipping on Day of the Dead inspired cocktails from Ambler Texas Kitchen and Cocktails. That's next. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, joining us now is bartender for Ambler Texas Kitchen and Cocktails and master mixologist Hector Vargas. Welcome, sir. How <laughs> are you? you? Thank you. Thank okay. you for having us. <laughs> we uh, saw some of the great food there, and now what are we making to wash it down with? Ooh, we're going to make uh, Los Cartrines, one of our day of the day cocktails, mm -hmm. which is going to consist of some tequila reposado. It's going to okay. be Carmen tequila. And just a little lid. Yeah, right there. <laughs> Sounds good. Make it happy. Yeah, just tell us when. Yeah. <laughs> we'll just eyeball it. Some <laughs> cinnamon, keep going. Three uh -huh. seconds. There we go. And this is just what? Cinnamon uh, kind of uh, dissolved in water? Simple or cinnamon. Simple cinnamon? Okay. Yeah. Is it sweet? Sweet. We make yeah. it in house. Yeah. One, great two. for juice. All right. And um, the piece Three dashes of one, bitters. Two. There you go. And that cinnamon just kind of helps it. Yes. I mean, that's just a little more fall, right? It, feels it like gets fall? it more into the fall, uh -huh. kind of like Dios de los Muertos and the Black Salt yes. incorporated together. Okay. And then this just goes in. Right there. Nice glass. Ice and all? Yes, sir. All right. And with the black salt yeah. rim. And then we add a little dehydrated. And a little touch Grapefruit there. Right Grapefruit. There. Perfect Done. for uh, for Halloween yeah. and Day of the Dead with okay. the black salt on there. So, all right, what am I making here? Oh, you're gonna make the Oaxaca old fashioned. Oh, that okay, cinnamon is good in there. So, oh, what you're me. gonna oh. do is turn that little knob oh. right in front. Uh huh. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yeah. And this is how long has everything been in this barrel? So it's been in there for two weeks. We let okay. it. We let it set for two weeks. Okay. And right somewhere. Uh, almost, you know, almost. it there worked it. in rehearsal. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Pull the stopper out of the top and we'll no, go. No, it has no stopper. It has no stopper. There, there we, we go. go. <laughs> okay. So what's in here? What's in the so barrel? So in here it's going to be the Reposado tequila. Mm -hmm. and then we have the Viuda, which is uh, mezcal. And then we have the bitters. And then we have some, uh, I think it's, uh, it's the agave nectar okay. as well. Okay, and so a nice... Just, and the yeah. great thing with the, the large blocks, I, what do you call them, just block ice cubes, uh, kind of like? Cubes. They Big don't melt cubes. very quickly. They don't melt. So it keeps the, the drink cold? Yeah, so it, it marries all the ingredients together, you know, a little bit of water, a little, by taking a sip. And I'm sorry, but this is still the coolest yeah. thing. Okay, so what am I about to do? Now you're going to go ahead and stamp that 
Just stamp it, just push? Yep. With our emblem. Hold it on there. There you go. That's and it. And it All melts right. it just ah! enough. And you can pick it up <laughs> and show it to them. Look up. Oh, we need to we need to have some. Look like at that. that. Show <laughs> right? So getting into fall, so grab it. you know, you, okay. does it transition it more into go. some of the uh, more oh, like whiskey type cocktails? Yes. You know, people get into that more in the cinnamon, those good rich fall flavors, as opposed to like a frozen margarita or something. Correct. Right? All right. And then, uh, and then on the menu, mm -hmm. some of the great dishes. What's your favorite thing? Ooh, I like the quail. The, Ooh. Why? Why the quail? The quail because it has uh, the fresh watermelon with some serrano and cilantro. Then you have the cornbread, the corn as a bed. Okay. okay. And, and you do breakfast, lunch, dinner. Oh, breakfast, lunch, dinner. Mm -hmm. uh, we do have brunch that starts at 12.30 all mm -hmm. the way till 2.30. And that's consistent that we have a live band out there at the Ambler and patio. Speaking of food and drink, if you'd like to head down there tomorrow night for the uh, Day of the Dead parade, there are still reservations available for dinner and some seats available as well. Right there the on the river. Because the parade's going to go right by go there. Right past, <laughs> you have one of these and yeah. say, here's to Day of the Dead. So, heck, thank you thank very you so much, much, sir. Thank you Appreciate for having it. us. All right. Um, once again, the Ambler at Hotel Contessa might be a nice spot to watch that broadcast of the Day of the Dead San Antonio River Parade. Enjoy one of those cocktails. It's tomorrow night at 8 right here on KSAT 12. Our Jen Tobias Dresky will be alongside Stephanie Jimenez in KSAT's coverage, so don't miss it. The Day of the Dead San Antonio River Parade presented by Toyota. All right, still ahead, a place where teens and young adults can get an education no matter what the social or economic background. And up next, spooky makeup looks for Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it here on SA Live. Where's that laugh going from? Well, if you still haven't decided on your Halloween costume, you just need a fun, easy to do look, we've got you covered. Yeah, we've got two spooky looks from a professional makeup artist using Texas-based skincare products to bring the monstrous looks back to life. <laughs> Hi guys, my name's Eamon and this is Rika. Um, we're doing a Halloween look. It's a Holly, uh, Halloween glam makeup look. We're gonna try to recreate something like this. So first we're gonna use the peel off mask and put it all around her um, edges of her face so we can peel this off. So we're just gonna apply it around the edges for this look. If someone wants to create this look, mm -hmm. what are all the things that they need at home? So we need that mask, and then we need your everyday regular makeup. You can create this with any eyeshadow. <laughs> so we're gonna do her makeup regularly. We're gonna start peeling this off. This is a very easy Halloween makeup look that you can do with your everyday makeup. All you need extra is a peel off mask and fake blood. I'm gonna create a Franken babe look, which is basically a glam Frankenstein um, vibe. So I'm gonna go in with the green right here and I'm gonna cover it all my whole face with this. Take a black eyeliner. And I'm gonna go right here, just make a little crack. That's the finished look. My name is Amen. You can follow me on Instagram at the Killer Monster or TikTok. It's the same thing at the Killer Monster. Next on the show, get professionally done permanent accent lighting for your home before the holidays hit and get it right now with a huge installation discount. It's an open enrollment at Charter High School that works with students who have social and emotional needs to ensure their successful future. And we're talking about Corvita Academy Charter High School. And here to tell us more is Principal Lauren Frankoviak. Welcome. Good Thank afternoon. Thank you. Okay, so your school helps close the gap. Yes. A little bit more. yes, so typically when we talk about education and closing gaps, 
we're talking about academically, students who either haven't been in school or who just struggle with the academics. But at Por Vida, we're helping them close those educational gaps as well as the emotional and the social. There's a lot of social and emotional issues that come with teenagers in high school. And so closing all those gaps is how we're going to help them be able to close their academic gaps. Okay, because that will you, you take care of this and that's going to help exactly. out the other, right? Who can enroll? Anyone and everyone. We are a high school only, so anyone 14 through 25. We have a program for students between the ages of 18 and 25 in a separate building. And then we have our traditional um, our traditional day, which is typically 14 to 18. So depending on where they are and where they need to be, we have two different programs. Okay, speaking of days though, the hours are very untraditional. Yes. What time do students so class? So nine to one. We have set that up so that their, uh, their lives can't be an excuse for not being in high school. And that works well with parents that are that may be working as well. Exactly. Or even if the students have an after school exactly. job too. Mm -hmm. Okay, what else makes Por Vida different from other high schools? Um, the main thing is really looking at students from a holistic standpoint and really taking care of the student as a whole. Because teen years, I mean, we've, we've all gone through it and those of yes. us that have teens, that can be yes. really, really tough. Yes. Both boys and girls, yes. right? Mm-hmm. Okay, anything else we should know about Corvita? Um, I think that's it. We enroll all year long, so please come to us at any time. Okay, and once again, anybody from 18 to 25? Uh, 14 to 25. 14 to 25, uh -huh. pardon me. You can enroll your high schooler today at Corvita Academy Charter High School, located at 1135 Mission Road. The number to call is 210-775-1132 or visit corvitaacademy.org. Lauren, thank you very much. Nice chat. Thank you so much. Halloween is just days away. And before you know it, Christmas will be here. So how would you like to not waste time and risk safety on the rooftop hanging holiday lights? Well, Illumination IQ can help with that. They provide an all-in-one lighting solution for your home. And here to tell us more is the co-owner of the company, Mark Metzger. Welcome, welcome. Hi, thank you, Fiona. Oh, taking the stress and the danger out of decorating your home, you know, for the holidays. Tell us about permanent accent lighting and what it can do for your home. Okay, well, it's just that, permanent accent lighting. It's permanently installed lighting in a uh, metal frame that matches the color of your eaves. We permanently install it on the eaves and inside of it are uh, RGB nodes. RGB is red, green, blue LEDs and they're controllable with an app. So you mentioned controllable, so mm -hmm. it's programmable then, right? It's programmable. All right, so what can it do? So we're talking how many colors, how many, you know, Millions. Okay, so there's there's an online app that you can download, and there are some pre-programmed uh, features like one for Halloween, one for Christmas, and then you can control it with a color wheel. Oh my gosh! So and you, you can just touch it and make it red, or swing it to blue or green, and then once again, as I was mentioning, there are some pre-programmed scenes like Halloween. Here's a scary Halloween. So you can choose from the ones that are already programmed in there, or can you kind of create your own? You can also create your own. You can pre-program your own and have chasing colors. It has functions and features where it'll sparkle or chase, um, or you just have it different colors or one solid color. The other thing too, it also provides is security because you can ha you've got these at the eaves of your roof. They're very bright and you can have the corners, just the corners illuminate. So you've got all the corners accented and also for safety. Ah, so not just aesthetics, but of course it helps with security too. Absolutely. So let's talk about installation. You mentioned it kind of it's going to match the eaves, right? It's going to match the eaves. This will match the color of your house, the eaves of your house. And the installation uh, takes a couple of few days. Um, we permanently install it with this that matches the uh, not only the color, but also the space of the, of the eaves and the height of the eaves. So it all blends in very well with the house. And then in each of these is a, a hole where the nodes come out. And if anything ever happens, you accidentally. I was going to say, if one, wait, what, it's not like if one bulb goes out, right? Like before. <laughs> yeah, well, one could actually right. go out, but, but if you it don't does, replace them all. <laughs> you just know, you just take it out and replace the one. 
and done. Yeah. Oh my goodness. All right. So you have a special for folks watching right now. We do. We have a special that runs through the end of this year, uh, $500 off installation. All they have to do is mention that they saw us on SA Live and how charming Fiona was. <laughs> and they'll get them an extra penny. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. And they'll get that discount. All right. So let's get that information up on the screen. Call Illumination IQ now for a free quote and $500 off your installation. That number is 210-677-3603. That's 677-3603. Or head to IlluminationIQ.com. Mark, thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> this Halloween, the monsters are taking over. Ah! A mad scientist has unleashed the classic monsters on San Antonio. <laughs> now they're creating the ultimate Halloween party and you are invited. There's cockroaches on my sandwich! It's SA Live's Halloween Monster Mash Bash tomorrow at 1 p.m. on KSAT. Never miss an episode of SA Live. Watch live or when you want on the KSAT TV app on these devices. SA Live streaming for free on KSAT TV. All right, it's tomorrow, it's tomorrow, it's tomorrow, the Retro Monster Mash Bash show at one o'clock right here on KSAT 12. All of the classic, the best monsters, vampires and Frankenstein and- The Wolfman. The Wolfman. Witches, yes. Invisible Man, all of them. We've had some great makeup artists helping them out. This is going to be so much fun. One o'clock tomorrow right here in KSA Yes, 12. as SA Live does what we do best when we celebrate Halloween. So when you're done watching that, take a little disco nap, as they say, and then you can watch the Day of the Dead parade presented by Toyota. It's at 8 o'clock tomorrow night. Alicia Brer and Steve Spreester are going to be hosting that and then also Jen Tobias Trusky and the new gal Stephania Jimenez. Mm -hmm. So yeah. watch for that tomorrow That's, at 8. Yeah, go down to the river and just have a great time mm -hmm. and get down there. All right, back to the question of the day. All right, we asked you who is your favorite Spurs player of all time? And Perla says my all-time favorite was John Elliott. The Memorial Day Miracle. Yep, Tony Parker. There we go, Lisa Ann. Oh, Andy man, says, my, <laughs> yes. It's like picking your favorite child, David Robinson. Mm -hmm. All right, Rosie says, yep, George, there we the go. Iceman Gervin. <laughs> yeah, with the finger roll and Tim Duncan, of course. And the Tomcat says, I would have to say Keldon Johnson. Definitely know how to bring energy to the court. All Spurs from the 90s till now are my favorites. Go Spurs, go. Go Spurs, Good go. Answer. Have a very happy Halloween. Don't forget our show tomorrow morning. Yes.